In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Spirit of light, enlighten us. Spirit of light, enlighten us. Spirit of truth, teach us. Our Lady, seat of wisdom, pray for her. Saint Louis, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are welcome to our lesson for this week. How are you at home? I hope you are keeping safe. Okay, I will encourage you to be serious with your study and keep safe. Our topic this week, we shall be looking at self control and under this topic we shall look at the meaning of self-control we shall look at what the bible say about self-control how to maintain self-control and lack of self-control what is self-control self-control is about resisting the temptation to break god's law which including losing our temper and react to others without demonstrating the fruit of the spirit in our thoughts and actions self-control is controlling oneself that is controlling oneself which include losing our temper that is getting angry with others and then all reacting to others without demonstrating the fruit of the Spirit in our thoughts and actions. Are we together? How many of you have been angry before with a friend or a brother or a sister, a sibling, and then you find yourself talking all kinds of, all kinds of words, saying all kinds of things that we hurt the other person? How many of us have found ourselves in that situation Okay, good. That is what he's telling us. That is being able to control that thought, that temp, that uh, that our our temper, that anger. Being able to control it without saying, without using hurtful, hurtful words on others. Hmm? Also, being able to control what we eat, what we wear, the places that we go. Therefore, it means that self-control is part of the gift of the Holy Spirit that helps to control oneself from anger. As I've said before, fear, hmm, pride, and greed. That you are able to control the choice that you make, your appetite, your emotions, and in fact, your life without the influence of bad friends. No matter the kind of people that may be around you, you are able to control what you do hmm? without the influence of bad friends. What does the Bible say about self-control? Proverbs chapter 25 verse 28. A man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. It's like a building or a city without walls. That is how a man is, without a many man without self-control. It's like a city without walls to protect it. And so it's open to all kinds of things. So when we are unable to control ourselves, to control our emotions, to control our temper, what we eat, what we say, what we do, we are open to commit all kinds of things we are open to do all 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 kinds of bad things that is what he's saying so a man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls i hope that is clear good in first corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man god is faithful and it will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, 
He will also provide a way of escape that you may be able to endure it. In any situation that you find yourself, especially in temptation, God will always provide a way of escape that you need. Hmm? Okay. Now let's look at this picture. Look at this girl. She's been tempted. Hmm? She's been she couldn't control her appetite. Look at how she's looking at these snacks. Hmm? She couldn't control her appetite. She feels like taking it, eh? Feel as if it she's already in her mouth, biting it. Look at the tongue outside. Okay, let's look at the next picture. This look at these children. They are in the train. Look at how they have opened the window and come out. They are unable to com to comport themselves. The way they are now, this is very dangerous. Anything can happen to them. So they, they, they are unable to control what they do. They are unable to control the extent at which they play. You see, this is the one now they are playing. But the play is getting out of hand to the extent that they are going to get injured or expose themselves to all kinds of things. Okay. How do we maintain self control? Number one, stop what you are about to do or say. For you to maintain self control, every time if you want to do anything or want to say anything, stop. Stop. Just stop first. Then think about the choice that you want to make. The first one is stop. Stop what you're about to do or to say. Okay. When you stop, then you think about your choices. Now, if you do this, what are you going to get? If you take this one, what are you going to get? What is the reward? Think about your choices of on what you want to do or what you want to say. And then after you must have thought about it, then the next one is do what pleases God. And that is why you need to think about the choice that you make, about what you say and what you do. Because whatever we do, whatever we say, must please God. Are we together? And by so doing, we'll be able to maintain self-control. Number two, we must obey instructions and take to corrections. We will obey instruction and take to correction of our elders, of our teachers, of our parents. We will be able to maintain, to maintain self-control. Do not engage in argument or fight. There are some kind of discussion or, or argument or discussion. Let me say discussion that you'll be having that might lead into argument. And before you know it, it will lead into fight. Especially, have you ever seen a situation whereby people are talking about football match? Hmm? People belong to different clubs. They will be talking about football match. And so before you, you see them, they will, be ang they will be discussing in serious agreement. And before you know it, it might lead to fight. The same thing applies. You see people discussing about politics. Some, they get so angry. And before you know it, they will start fighting. And so that is why it is not for us to maintain self-control. We should not engage in argument or fight. Okay. Do not use bad or abusive eh, language that might hurt others. And they may want to fight us back or they may want to insult us back. Okay. We must listen to the gentle voice of God in us. We should always listen to the gentle voice of God in us. And by this, we'll be able to maintain self-control. Are we together? Okay. It makes... Now, on that, we'll be looking at lack of self-control if you don't have self-control what will happen 
It makes us to be violent and eat without control. You remember when I was talking earlier, I said that uh, if when we were looking at the book of Proverbs chapter 25, that a man without self-control is like a broken city hmm, that is open to all kinds of sin, all kinds of temptations, all kinds of evil things. If you don't have self-control, and that's what is we are saying here, lack of self-control makes us to be violent and eat without control. Okay. It makes full it makes us full of anger, jealousy, and pride. Hmm? We see ourselves we'll just be full of anger, we we'll jealous of others unnecessarily, and we'll be so proud, eh? Okay. We will want to get rich by all means. When we don't have self-control, we want to get rich by all means. We want to do anything that we can do to make sure that we get rich. Okay? That is lack of self-control. Lack of self-control will make us to always want good things to come to us alone. People who have who don't have lack who don't have self-control, they want to have all the good things just to come to them alone. If it comes to another person, you see them, they will be so they will be full of anger, they will be jealous and begin to do all kinds of evil things. Okay. And lastly, people with lack of self-control, they are never contented with what they have. And so we should be contented. Okay. Now what are other ways for lack of self-control? What are the other ways that we can use for lack of self-control? Immoderation, intemperance, indulgence, decadence, overindulgence, overconsumption, intemperateness. You see, people who don't have self-control, as we have said earlier, these are what will happen to them. Hmm? Okay. These are kind of things that manifest in their lives okay so for your own work i hope we are together okay for your own work please read genesis chapter 4 verse 1 to 16 on about cain and abel define self-control stay two ways you can maintain self-control are we together okay so please do your own work and submit. Then number four, mention two disadvantages of lack of self-control. Okay. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.